Yo, what's good guys, it's Shoto Giraffe, hopefully everyone's doing well, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel, and as you see in front of us, we have a ton of cards done by the legendary illustrator Kowaki Saito, and this video is basically to prep for the regionals event that's happening this weekend, so I have a ton of raw cards, some slabs that I want to crack out, some more raw cards, some cards that I'm actually middlemanning for some people, and some postcards, and a trainer's mag, and in this little four pocket binder, I have some more raw cards as well, which I'll be taking to the event, because I just want to keep something nice and small, but this this is going to be my first signing event, so I have no idea what to expect. Obviously, I'm not expecting every single one of these items to get signed, so I need to prioritize. But with all that said, let's take a closer look at all these cards done by Koki Saito. Let's first start off with the raw cards. So these cards were kind of found throughout binders, ETB boxes that I just kind of pulled out. So let's first start off with this Reverse Hollow Squirtle from Crystal Guardians. I just love the EX Reverses because it features a stamp and sometimes a special hollow fold design. So we have a Squirtle, we have a Scyther, I believe this is Fire? red or leaf green but then i love this little pokeball design that's in the text so that's a very nice touch so we have a scyther we have a cacturn from crystal guardians and the cool thing about the reverse hollow rares in the ex era the name and the hp are in gold foil so just love that small touch right there so we have a cacturn in reverse we have a ho -Oh cosmo foil but this one is pizza hell so doubt i'm gonna get this one signed because i do actually have another one which i'll be showing shortly we have the ho -Oh and lugia from celebrations which i think is a pretty nice pairing next we have two cards from hard gold soul silver we have a meryl and a azumarill we have some cards from call of legends so we have a reverse hollow and a regular hitmonchan a ursa ring hitmon lee a reverse interviewers questions cheerleaders cheer and another copy of a hitmonchan i don't know why i have two but yeah so those are some of the cards and these cards I actually bought recently. This one is a reverse hollow ho from Unseen Forces, as you see by the gold text and the HP right there. Love this card so much. ho is probably one of like my top five Pokemon. And for Unseen Forces, the reverse hollow is this Pokeball design, which I think it's so sick. It kind of looks like planets in the background, but yeah, love this card a lot. So ho reverse. Charizard EX from like the red and blue collection with the Generations packs. We have Charizard, Magmar, and Little Flareon right there at the bottom. We have the Mew from the Generations pin boxes i believe this one i love this one so much i remember picking these up so easily at gamestop and now like the boxes are like 100 bucks and last but not least is this ivysaur you might be kind of confused with why this ivysaur is here but then i actually saw his recent twitter reply of someone asking what his favorite card was and he actually mentioned this so i think it'll be cool to kind of have him sign one of his favorite cards so yeah so those are my raw cards next let's get into the cards that i'll be middlemanning for some people so i'm actually middlemanning for three different people so we have parker kish blue label mew and excuse me if I butcher this name, but Miura057. But first off, we have Parker Kish. He's a huge T-Tar collector, so he sent me one T-Tar. I believe this is from L2, which is Unleashed in English. So we have this Tyranitar. Super clean copy too, so hopefully I can get the sign for him. Next for Blue Label Mew, we have three cards. We have a Suicune from the Poke Park. This promo, this XY promo, 221. This was a Kyoto. I don't know the specifics, but it was like a Kyoto promo. Obviously, you see by the Pokemon Center stamp right there and last but not least we have this Mewtwo this was given out not given out this was a promo in the Hidden Fates pin box so yeah we have three cards for blue label Mew right there last but not least we have this little care package from Mew at a 057 I really do appreciate it but starting off we actually threw in a booster pack and some giraffery cards because he just based off my name Johto Giraffe so we knew that I liked the Johto era and also Giraffery as well so I'm super stoked to open this pack and obviously behind it we do see the trainer's magazine this one is a super clean copy, super crispy, and yeah, all the pages inside are pristine. So hopefully I can get this signed for you as well. And let's open this up and see what's inside. So, okay, very nice. He actually has a Japanese version. I believe it's CP2 of the Mew Reverse. I love the snowflake pattern. I think that's what it's called, but this hollow pattern is insane. Just comparing the two side by side, obviously the hollow foil is different. Even the borders, I think the silver one looks so much better. So if I had to choose, I would choose the Japanese one. But yeah, I'll be happy to get the sign for you. So let me just put this back in so I don't forget. Next, let's see what Giraffery card he... He actually gave me multiple, which is very generous of you. Thank you so much. It was definitely not expected, nor was it needed. But turning it over, ooh, we have... Okay. 
All right, dude, this is so sick. We have a World Championships 2006. I believe it's signed by the players who actually use these cards in their decks, but we have a draft rig from Legend Maker, Professor Elm's training method, and a copycat. So love these cards a lot. Gen 2, the whole Gen 2 era, and also draft rig right there done by Kasube. So Miura057, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And let's actually open this booster pack up and see what we can get inside. I never actually opened this set either in Japanese or English, so I'm very excited to see what we can get. And this set is heavily inspired by the Johto era, so let's see what we have. So we have a Bayleaf right there. Ooh, Cyndaquil, the best starter. A Pseudo Wudo. Ooh, we have a GX card. Okay, we have a Blacephalon GX. Basically, it looks like a lollipop. And behind it, we have a Lantern. So we actually got a hit. So thank you so much, Miura057. This was super generous of you to throw in the pack and also some extra cards. I really do appreciate it. I myself actually have a copy of the Player's Magazine book as well. So we have the Volume 19. This one features the Dragonite, Dragonair, and the Dratini. And mine's a little bit more beat up. His is pristine. But yeah, the pages inside are also clean. So very happy about that. So hopefully I can get this signed for myself as well. And I also have, I guess these are post cards clear files don't really know the technical term but i believe these postcards are all done by saito so let's go through them one by one so we have this one with pikachu mew snorlax and pikachu again next up we have this one right here we have snorlax blocking this bridge with mew and pikachu this one i would love to get him to get signed if possible we have celebi the gen 2 starters pikachu and the hoa flying in the background we have the 25th anniversary with togetic shaman pikachu a bunch of balloons a little drift loom right there celebrating the 20th anniversary right there this one's a nice one too we have snorlax pikachu the gen 1 starters eevee and the mew i just love how mew's included i guess with the starters as well and these two are pretty special we have the poncho pikachus we have the charizard y or the mega charizard y and the rayquaza shiny from the sky tree town and mega tokyo respectively so yeah if i could get these signed as well that'll be pretty sick but i have no idea what to expect so i think on the first day of the event i'm gonna to take just the cards and then kind of feel it out and last but not least i do have some slabs right here five in total that i want to crack out and have these card signs so starting off we have a mew reverse hollow from legend maker it is a cgc8 so it's neither a gem mint or a plate card is right in the sweet spot in the middle so i think this card will be perfect for me to crack out and have him sign next we have this 2019 tea party promo from the kyoto pokemon center it is a mint nine so i don't really mind cracking this out i feel like i can pick up another copy pretty easily so yeah it want to get this one cracked out we have the cgc9 typhlosion from super impact or super burst impact and i love this artwork of typhlosion probably one of the best ones out there we have this flygon 8.5 this was from i think it's around the diamond and pearl platinum era not really familiar with that era but then love flygon so why not and this one is a flygon from the 7-eleven fair campaign promo it is a mint 9 and the unfortunate thing is i do have a crack right here i do have the non-hollow version so i was planning on getting the non-hollow sign but with this crack i think it might be better to crack this one out instead i've also never cracked any slabs before so this is going to be my first time doing this ever so i'm very nervous but if i mess up i mess up it is what it is but hopefully i don't i brought some supplies so we do have a plastic bag for the little shards a cutter and also a little butter knife so never done this before so let's see how this goes all right so it's sam from the future as you can see i actually attended day one of regionals right there so i actually bought some new pliers and unfortunately i got no dubs in terms of signatures for day one so we'll try again tomorrow and sunday so i guess we'll just start cracking these slabs and i did buy new cutters as you can see these ones definitely did not work out so let's try these right here all right this butter knife is not working hopefully this flathead can help some way So we got one down and four more to go. So let's actually get a bigger bag. I'm actually working on the fly, trying to figure out the best way to do it. So we got these tools right here, a bigger bag. And I'm actually gonna crack this one before going for the Mew because I kind of want some practice. That is not good. Hopefully that doesn't damage the card. Definitely not the prettiest break, but it is free. And I don't think there's any damage to it, which is very nice. Three more to go. Oh, this one came off very nicely. So the Mew is free. So very nice to get this out of its encasing. Hard to believe that this was an 8. But yeah, very excited to get this signed by Golki Saito. Even has a little swirl right there. So yeah, second to last is this Flygon promo right here. And hopefully this little crack doesn't hinder me taking the case off. So 
So there we have it out of its casing and there are little specks right here of the plastic but then I'll dust those off and put it in the sleeve. And the last one is this Tea Party promo. And there we have the last one. So I'm actually very surprised that I didn't damage any of these five cards here. Let me just sleeve this up real quick. So there we have it. We have all five of the cards out of their slabs. And we also have the remnants, which is basically like the graveyard. And their respective labels for each card is right here. So yeah, let me first clean this up. This was a lot messier than I thought, but thankfully the bag kind of saved it. So here's a binder right here. It's all black four pocket binder. It is by Vault X with a little green pull tab for the zipper. And opening it up, I'll try my best to mitigate the glare as much as I can. But starting off, we have the Pikachu page. We have the Pikachu from Black and White, I believe. And the Yokohama promos as well. Moving on to the next page, we have the Rayquaza Sky Tree, the Pikachu Poncho, Typhlosion from, I believe it's Super Burst Impact or Lost Thunder. We have the Tea Party promo right there. The Trainers Magazine Dratini line, Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. We have the Entei from the Poke Park, and the remainder of the Poke Park is right here. I took these out of the file just to make it a little bit easier. And then we have some reverses, Squirtle, Scyther, Cacturn, Ho-Oh. Another Ho-Oh and Mew. These two might be my top priorities right now. So the Ho-Oh reverse from Unseen Forces and Mew from Legend Maker right there. We have two Flygons on the bottom. Behind it, we have a Mew, Zard, a Reporter, or no, Interviewer's Questions, Ivysaur from Shining Legends, Meryl and Azumarill from Heartgold Soul Silver, and last but not least, we have Ho-Oh and Lugia from Celebration. I guess by the end of the video, you guys figure out which cards that I did get signed, but as of now, I need to figure out my six, or I guess my three for each day, so yeah. I guess for me, it'll take a few days, but for you, it'll be just a second, so here are the signatures. So, currently it is Wednesday, September 21st, three days after the Baltimore Regionals, and I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with social media, especially IG, but the Saito signing didn't really pan out as a lot of people expected, especially since it was the first signing event in such a long time. I think I may have underestimated how many people will be showing up. Yeah, let me just quickly just go through this binder to show you guys what I got signed, if any, but... Yeah, let me just kind of recap the days as I go. So first day, I believe registration was at 1230 and then I got there around like 1030 and I'm pretty sure I was like maybe like 60th in line or something. I don't know, like 70, like kind of towards like the back. Once the doors open at 1230, that's when we walk in. These are the cars that we were trying to get signed. These are my girlfriends. Let me actually take them out while I talk. But once the doors open, we walk into the convention center and there's already a line. That line wants to sign up for the text message where you'll get a text when it's your turn to get a signature. And man, I waited all day for that. And then when it came around 3, 3.30, that's when they told us through the, I guess, intercom that they won't be accepting any more signatures. So if you didn't get a text that day, then you just had to come the next day. Which honestly wasn't that bad the first day because it was mostly just for the signing and for spectators. And the real regional started on Saturday. So these were the three cards that my girlfriend was going to get signed. So here you'll notice the empty slot, which I'll explain later in the video. But yeah, unfortunately, these two weren't able to get signed either. And the second day, I think the second day was the nail in the coffin for me. So second day. I got there at 6 30 6 30 a.m. The doors opened at 7 or 8 and then I'm pretty sure I was maybe like 50th in line Maybe 60th somewhere within that range and then we walk in we wait inside the convention center from like 8 to 9 And then finally what they did was they brought the laptops up and then we signed in from there So I was probably between 50 and 60th in line and then basically from 6 30 a.m all the way up until 4 30 4 35 o'clock they cut it off i think the maximum was 50. some people were saying 59 but i'm gonna say it's 50 and we were cut off we didn't get our signatures that was the only day that my girlfriend was available so for her she unfortunately got no signatures that day and because of that we were just so done and over it, we just decided to leave. One bright side for that day is that we both picked up the new iPhone 14, so I guess that was a dub. But in terms of signatures, it was no wins, all losses across the board, so it was just so unfortunate. And then it made me even consider not even going the third day. There's this one Discord that I follow, and they were posting updates of, you know, how many people are online. Apparently seeing some stories on IG, some people got there at 12 midnight and then camped all the way up until the morning and then obviously for like those first 50 people online 
they got signatures i was not willing to do it although i live 20 30 minutes away from there i just thought it wouldn't be worth it to risk myself you know being in baltimore city especially that late and just to like camp out for like eight hours before the doors open just was not worth it so instead what i did i got to the convention probably around like 11 o'clock and instead i just hung out with a bunch of people that i met that day but sunday morning i got a message from one of my friends and he said that he knows someone that is willing to open up a slot for me on the panel because he heard that i didn't get a single signature the entire weekend thank you so much you know who you are if you're watching this video words cannot convey how grateful i am for you being so generous so thank you so much as a consolation i did manage to get two signatures one from dizzle his favorite pokemon is dedene and mr fuji as i mentioned someone showed incredible generosity and i was able to get one card signed and that card is right here. So let me actually take it out and give you guys a better look. So this is a Mew Reverse Holo from Legend Maker. And the thing with EX Reverse Holos is that the text and the HP is gold if the card rarity is a rare. And as you see, it says to Sam in Katakana. We see a little Mew sketch right there with the little blush and also a heart right there. It says Koki Saito in Japanese and the date right there, 2022, 918, which was a Sunday when PFM Pokemon Flying Master was so generous to open up a slot for me. I gave him the card, went home to hang out for maybe a few hours, and then I came back to the convention center and picked it up. Shameless plug, you guys can see that picture on my IG, but I am forever grateful to you. Thank you for reaching out to someone that you just met at the convention center. We never really interacted as much before, but thank you so much again for your generosity. I am forever grateful. This card is going to follow me to my grave. I do not intend on selling it at all. Definitely want to send it to PSA to get authenticated. And I was actually torn between this card or this file, but the unfortunate thing is I actually did not take this. So if I had both of these on hand on Sunday, then it would have been a very tough choice because it would have been cool to have his signature right here with this entire artwork of all the legendaries. Plus Tauros, can't forget him, but I think having it on a trading card is so much better and it's just all compact. It's in like this little package right here. Plus you can get it graded, so I think that was the route that I went for. All in all, in the end, I did get a signature. Thank you again to PFM. You are the GOAT. Thank you so much for your general generosity it cannot be understated in the end i was able to get one signature unfortunately i wasn't able to for my girlfriend and also the people that i tried to middleman for but they were all very understanding which i appreciate so much that is my video of my singular Koki Saito signing card or signature card I guess this is a collection piece that I'm never letting go and yeah hopefully you guys at least enjoy the mail in the beginning of the video that is it thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy this and as always I'll see you guys in the next one Peace.